Okay, we'll try this again, Cancer, because I'm definitely not losing this. So we're at part two for Cancers and Fire Signs, and this is Sagittarius on 11 seconds. Now, with the Hierophant, as I stated, Cancer, the Hierophant popped out here um, with the Empress here. Under the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. So there's an energy of this you, Cancer, this Empress, being ready for high levels of commitment. You have learned your lessons. You are ready. But with the Six of Swords, you have to go. And why? Because this is an energy of someone you can't trust here with the Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords right behind it. Someone that you can't see. Three of Pentacles, Cancer. Third party energies here. You just are, you're not ready for that, Cancer. You're ready for the commitment part of it. Um... And here, again, Three of Wands with the Devil and the Three of Swords. Ace of Cups here. Like, you're side-eyeing this. You're side-eyeing this. This person is saying they want to start over. You're side-eyeing this Ace of Cups here. But let's look here. Tell us about the Sun and the King of Pentacles. Because the Sun is also an energy of someone who is being honest. So... And the King of Pentacles, like I said, is a committed energy. I'm just saying. So let's see. Tell us about the sun. Holy Spirit. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Well, Cancer, a couple things. This can represent someone who is being very guarded and protecting the connection here. Um, or this could be four of pentacles energy, someone who is being guarded and keeping secrets here, um, with the sun, you know, underneath the deck, we have the five of wands cancer. I'm sorry. With the four of cups and the two of wands. So again, this is just an energy and the eight of wands cancer. This is 10 wands. This person is still in this energy of just causing stress and confusion. You have the Ten of Wands with the Five of Wands, Cancer, and the Four of Cups. So, no. No. I feel like this Four of Pentacles just represents someone who is um, keeping secrets, Cancer. Still in that energy of keeping secrets. Tell us about the King of Pentacles. Is this person married, I wonder? Let's see. Well, you have the Six of Cups. So there is an ex, Cancer, that this person is dealing with. Six of Cups talks about a karmic or an ex or somebody from this person's past. And look, the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Period, point blank. Drama and problems the king of swords comes and brings chaos and then leaves dips off this person dips in and out and with the six of cups this is why this is why so yeah if you're dealing with the sagittarius that is the energy there and this is part two of the message so we are definitely going directly moving into cancers dealing with leos at three minutes and 54 seconds sorry that it's a part two but the message got cut off and that's only because i ran out of bandwidth on my camera so Moving right into Cancers and Leos. So if you are dealing with the Leo, this is for you. Okay. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, what clarity, what guidance, what love messages do we have for Cancers dealing with a Leo, please? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, what clarity? What guidance, what love messages do we have for Cancers dealing with a Leo? Holy Spirit, angels, and guidance. 
more clarity, more guidance. And we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So there's a new opportunity coming on the horizon. Um, or this could be someone that you are meeting for the first time. Um, someone new coming in, Cancer. Okay. Um, Ace of Pentacles can also represent like a new opportunity in love. So you and this person, you could have been in a relationship with this person in the past. And um, now this person is coming back in. Let's see. Underneath the deck, you have the Emperor. And the Three of Cups. You have Justice with the Lovers. And then you have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Wands. Okay, Cancer, let's see what's going on here. So with the Emperor and the Three of Cups, Cancer, I feel like this is an energy of someone who you were in a commitment with in the past, Cancer. Um, with the Three of Cups, this is an energy of you being very happy, Cancer, with this person. Um, I feel like you and this person were um, friends for a long time. And then it turned into something more. Cancer, I honestly feel like this is an energy of someone who you were committed to, committed with, but then you decided to just be friends with this person. With the Justice card and the Lovers, Justice refers to a very honest energy. I feel like there's just a very um, honest, uh, balanced energy between you and this person. The Lovers also represents a very balanced connection, a very, very strong, balanced connection. Um But for some reason, Cancer, the two of you decided to just be friends. With the Queen of Cups, Cancer, and the Page of Wands. This could be an energy of someone who is coming in um, and wanting to, I feel like this person is wanting to start over. I feel like somebody wants to come in and heal things and start over and try again, Cancer. It's like this person, they want to try again. There's just this energy of let's start over and try again. Because I really don't see like anything going wrong. I just feel like you and this person just grew apart. I feel like this connection just kind of grew apart and you both just decided to just date and or just be friends, Cancer. And now it's like somebody is coming back in and wanting to, to try again. Is this you? I feel like this is your energy, Cancer. But let's see. Holy Spirit. 
angels and guides tell us about cancer and leo holy spirit angels and guides tell us about cancer and leo please tell us about this ace of pentacles please holy spirit okay and we have the moon So, Cancer, you know what? I feel like this is literally... Cancer, this moon is an energy of someone or something that... Um, it's like it's this is hidden to you. I feel like you're not sure. There's an energy of you not being sure if this is something that is meant to last forever. Or if this is an energy of someone you were just, you know, meant to be friends with, you know, or just for a season. You know, not necessarily be with this person long term. Underneath the deck, you have temperance here. And this represents divine guidance here, Cancer. This represents being divinely guided towards something wanting to heal something cancer but there's an energy of not being sure if this is something that you want so i feel like there's an energy of someone wants to heal um or wants to start over cancer but there is an energy of someone else not being sure Tell me about this emperor, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and God. And we have the Ace of Wands, Cancer. You know, this represents an energy of someone. It's, they're very passionate, Cancer. They come in very passionately. But with the Seven of Swords underneath the deck here, there's an energy of like something that this person is not being honest about. There's an energy of this person not being honest and cancer it's almost like this energy of someone who there is like something this person is hiding with the moon even here with the moon energy cancer there is like an energy of something you just can't quite put your finger on right you can't quite trust it and the emperor represents a committed energy this could be an energy of someone who is married so I don't know if you're dealing with the Leo, you know, that maybe is coming back around cancer um, and trying to talk to you. This person could be married with the eight of swords. It's like you won't be able to see this cancer. You won't know this or see this coming. It's like this person is literally hiding a commitment. Tell us about this Three of Cups, please. And we have the King of Cups. So literally, this is an energy of someone you were in a connection to Cancer. And I feel like things went cold with this person. And you decided to be friends. Like you both just kind of grew distant, Cancer. You grew apart. But with the star card here, Cancer, under the deck, 
and the Knight of Cups. Like there is someone who, and I feel like this could be your energy here. I feel like there's an energy of you wanting to come back around towards this connection here. Or having hope, Cancer, that things may work out. And this was in the past here. This was in the past, Cancer. You did have hope that things would work out in this connection, but I feel like there's an energy of this person wanted to just be friends. With the High Priestess here, Cancer, I feel like there's an energy of you, there was an intuition about this, like you knew there was more to this. There's that moon coming in again, being very uncertain and elusive here. Tell us about the Justice card here. Holy Spirit. And we have the Six of Swords. I feel like Cancer, the Six of Swords talks about an energy of somebody who is, you know, learning their lessons or they're accepting, you know, that it is what it is, Cancer, and they're just kind of moving on. I feel like there's an energy of someone doing this and just accepting the fact that this relationship didn't work out with the fool. This person just kind of packed their bags and went on to the next situation, Cancer. Um, this definitely talks about somebody who... Um, they learn their lessons, Cancer, um, and they move on. They move on to the next thing. I feel like there's an energy of this person is in a commitment, Cancer, but you don't know about this. Four of Swords and the Five of Cups, Cancer. This person is not telling you everything. They are not telling you everything. Tell me about the lovers, please. Holy Spirit. And you got the hanged man here. And it came out sideways. I'm going to take it in the upright here. But you got the hanged man. And this is someone, again, there is an energy of this person who is contemplating something. They don't know exactly which way they want to go. And the lovers, this can represent a love triangle. This can represent three people here. So this person could be making a decision between, look, three of wands, cancer, and the ace of cups, and the three of swords. I'm done. And the devil. I'm done. But this person is trying to make a decision between you and another person. They're coming in, Cancer. They're telling you that they want to work it out with you. But there is someone else that is hanging on the side. There is someone else in the picture, Cancer, that you can't see. That Eight of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Cups, please. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. And we have the Six of Wands, Cancer. And this is um, this is that energy of someone wanting you to recognize them or this person having the need to win you over. It's like this person has this ego. It's like this person just has a need to, to have you, Cancer. Look, Five of Swords, even if it is a mind game. Even if they know it will never work out. It's like the need to win up or get one over on you. Look, you have the eight of pentacles. That's the boss up card. And the five of swords. Like this person in the five of wands, Cancer. What I'm trying to tell you is this person is playing games. Two of wands behind the scenes. They are playing games with you. They are playing it safe. There is other energies, other third parties that are behind the scenes. Um, and this person is just, this is all about ego. 
They just want to see if they can win you over or get you to accept them back. Tell us about the Page of Wands. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about the Page of Wands, please. Mm. And look, you got the world in the reverse, Cancer. Bad karma. Do not let this person back in, period, point blank. With the world in the reverse, this talks about someone reaping what they sow. Someone reaping, this talks about bad karma, bad decisions, making a bad decision. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't trust this six of cups under the deck. Somebody, this talks about an ex coming back in wanting to reconcile. But with the world in the reverse, this person is bringing bad karma with them, Cancer. Two of cups. They are coming in acting as though it is a committed situation. But it is really a five of swords situation that you're dealing with. So... Leave it up to you, Cancers. I love you guys so much. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Let me know in the comments if you like the new format. I will be using this new format going forward when I do Cancer versus the Elements. Tell me what you think, um, and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.